Hey, good morning, everyone. Trackman 44 here. We're uh, up at our buddy Walter's place. We're going to try to get those big old logs on the trailer today. Got to get a little more creative with our winching, though. Got my son, got my son in law, got old Walter here. My brother in law, Neil, will be along anytime now. And uh, we brought along longer ramps. We brought 10 foot ramps to give a less of an angle for it to crawl up. Uh, we moved a couple of bushes to make it a little bit easier. And we got six by sixes on the trailer deck. And because we're using the 12,000 pound winch on the front of the trailer, we decided to use a snatch block right there to, to make sure the uh, cable or the synthetic rope goes straight into the fair lead. Then we're going to change the direction of that cable or that synthetic cable by putting a snatch block there and then another one here, which in turn is going to take us straight down to the log over there. Now we're just going to use the log dog and roll it forward a little bit before we uh, connect up and roll it up with a couple of straps. over so you don't have to come on this side and get it. Just knock it loose. As low as convenient to swing. I think we're going to stop right there. We ended up with a two-part line. You can see the cable going straight into the fair lead. Our ramp just set back down just like we wanted it to. And of course our synthetic rope going between the two or around the two changing directions. We stopped for just a second, put a little reinforcement under those six by sixes. I don't know what the tinsel is on 6x6 six womanized timber. But that's a mighty hefty log. Is there a cycle time on this? Yeah, you're supposed to 30 seconds, 45 seconds, and let it rest. <laughs> Well, that seemed to eliminate most of the sway on the 6 by 6s Slide that other 6 by 6 Well, I heard something crying. Yeah, it got to come off the block on this side. Okay. Oh. Yeah, just go a little bit. Just go a little bit. That 6 by is going to raise up on this end. Okay, you're a little bit more tight and you have to stop. Okay. Look at my trailer coming down in the corner. Got 
what you think. Actually, it looks pretty even, judging from the shackles. That's good, Ty. Wendell? Yeah, work, bro. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty cool. Oh, yeah, that's good. <laughs> yeah, that good. Yeah, you can put that piece? Oh, yeah. Okay. Don't get behind it, though. What? But he's got to let him completely unhook. You got to let him in on you? Yeah. Keep going. Get my gerber. We always overbuild. Be careful with your left foot, Mike, because that thing wants to roll. It's not going to roll this way. Yet. <laughs> Yet. Taking it out whether you want to or not. It's pretty deep where you can roll chain right down How deep you want them? Six? Oh no, about so deep. Okay. Down in past the bark. This one measures across here at the widest point. It measures 46 and then 43 and a half the other direction. So it's roughly a 45 inch uh, in average diameter. The other one on the end down there is roughly 44 inch across on um, both directions. So this is a um, 14,000 pound trailer, so there's a lot of weight on it, but it really wasn't near as much as what we had on many loads in the past. So I've already taken off one binder, but I'm gonna go ahead and drop the other two binders off and then go ahead and give it a nudge and see if it'll collapse my ramps. I got those eight inch channel iron ramps. It may collapse them, you know, uh, whenever it gets them, but we're gonna find out. Okay, it's ready. These are really big logs. Maybe you guys are used to these, but this is unusual for us. And coming off the trailer like that is kind of scary. I am nowhere near where these logs will come off at. We expect them to come off at an angle. And oops, here we go. go back here. I don't want to miss them coming off that trailer. Not be happy with me. I don't like the way it goes back toward him. 
Okay, we, we are hoping that vlog will come off this and go and nestle down against this log down here. All right, so you didn't see the part where he tried to rock it off. He is not going to get the tractor because that did not go well and his face turned purple. So we're getting the tractor. So I'm going to move this back and then I'll be turning it off far. Attempt number two. Okay, so we are ready for part two of Man Against the Log. He went to get the Kubota because just wrestling it by hand with a cane hook did not go well. It's a fairly warm day. It's a little breezy, 62-ish degrees. It's not raining, yay. Okay, here it comes. Okay, and it is off. <sighs> Heavy sigh of relief. Uh, I don't know how to do a close up, but if you can see that ramp over there has a noticeable sway in it. I guess I'll have to hammer that out later. Yeah, we use a back one. Really, you can, you can fix that? Sure, sure. So like, what do you drive over with the backhoe? Just put the bucket in. Seriously. Huh. Hey, not do it. Right. That's why I wasn't too concerned. I just wanted to show you all out. You can see that spot there on the log itself. It's kind of a bluish gray. And most of you probably already know that, but that means there was metal in the wood somewhere. And I, he told me earlier that he did hit a nail. So that was somewhere in that tree buried years and years ago. Just nudge this little timber off here. Alright, oh, and there we go. Off this nice little log. Oh. Oh. Glad that tree didn't come down. Alright, let's see what he's gonna do with it now. Okay, and because it's a nice day and I'm out of the way and I'm fairly certain can't run over me. Um, I'm going to film moving the log. This may or may not make it in the film, but you know, like I said, it's a nice day. I can get this to zoom. I'm going to zoom in here a little bit. And, oh, I'm already moving it. Wow. The there was a branch coming off of that log, which is, the branch itself is huge. There we go, little log. This log is not round, you might have noticed that. I am very excited about getting these on the sawmill. Well guys, that's about it for getting all that wood out of out of St. Louis. The Sega took us three Saturdays to get that. The first two logs the first Saturday, then the loads of wood last weekend, and then the last two reasonably large logs uh, today. So I don't have anything else to say. I think the missus already said it. And uh, good Lord knows what she's had to say anyway. And you know what? This is Tractor Man 44 and the missus, and we are out of here.